plucky and delicate. This is the plains wanderer. Each bird is very different. Some are quite tolerant of us and our routine. Others like nothing to do with us. Um, some do lots of displays and will jump around and others will sit there dust bathing. All of them just act a little bit differently. Once found throughout Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland, the ground-dwelling avian is a reluctant flyer that relies on dashing and camouflage in long grass. But with less than 1% of its habitat left, predators like foxes have devoured the population. Less than 1,000 adults are left in the wild. Uh, that is a tragedy. And if it becomes extinct, there'll be global consequences. So the Plains Wanderer are the last remaining bird in their family. So a national protection project was launched in 2016, which includes this site at Werribee. All right, we got bale chicks. And it's had breakthroughs. 30 Plains Wanderers have been bred here, including seven this year, some naturally, others with incubation. The Plains Wanderer is one of 27 endangered Australian species that Zoos Victoria and conservation partners are dedicated to saving. Sadly, it's a list that over the years keeps expanding. But it doesn't have to. The eastern barred bandicoot has been saved from extinction in the wild thanks to Victorian conservation efforts. And it's hoped the same can happen for a little bird which isn't as famous as koalas or quolls, but just as important. We need these creatures to survive. Biodiversity is vital. They are incredibly unique and we should be so proud of that, to have these birds. Last year, the Zoo's Victoria team started releasing bred birds back into the wild and more will be released into Victoria's northern plains this year. Iskandar Razak, ABC News, Werribee.